Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm coming at you with a explanation slash demonstration on the 223 stripper clip. All right, so first off, the explanation. Um, if I, I feel like if I don't explain it, I'm gonna get some comments saying stripper clips are pointless. Uh, what you're doing is taking 10 rounds and putting them onto a stripper clip, which takes just long as putting them into a magazine. Then you've got to put them into the magazine after that. That just seems like an extra step. It takes longer, which is true. But what you need to understand is what you're supposed to do is take these stripper clips, load them up while you're at home. While you're doing nothing, while you're watching TV, you can multitask. I don't care what you do, but just get them loaded up while you're pretty much uh, doing nothing. Get them loaded up. That way, they're on the stripper clip when you need them. Um, magazines are expensive. They cost, at the cheapest I've ever seen, and this is pre-Sandy Hook, $8 for a 30-round magazine. And, um... After Sandy Hook, I saw them skyrocket up to like $45, $50 for a single 30-round magazine, um, depending on the website, but uh, you get my point. All right, for the price of one 30-round magazine, let's say a 30-round magazine is 20 bucks right now. For the price of one 30-round magazine, you can get 100 stripper clips. 100 stripper clips, 10 per stripper clip. That's a thousand rounds. You can load up a thousand rounds on stripper clips, and let's say you only have five mags, that's 150 rounds. You have 150 rounds in your mag, you burn through those rounds, then if you want to reload your mags real quick, you have a thousand rounds on stripper clips, get them real loaded up real quick again. You get my drift? The whole point is not to go to the range with a bunch of bullets, a bunch of stripper clips, and a couple of magazines, then sit there at the range, putting your bullets on a stripper clips and then dropping them into the mag. What you want to do is go to the range with a bunch of preloaded stripper clips and empty magazines and then get there, load up your mags, and then you're good to go. Alright, so that's the explanation. And on top of that, I would suggest having a bunch of uh, stripper clips at your house loaded up just in case, um, you know, zombie situation, real world uh, shit hits the fan situation, or without rule of law situation. It's always nice to have a bunch of rounds loaded up on stripper clips, you never know. But, um, yeah, to get to the actual stripper clip, show you guys how this works. Get a little focus going on here. Alright, so, as you can see, there's a little tab right there, and it's open. And on this side, it's closed. And so what you do is you make sure one side is closed, and then what you do is you take a bullet, and put it down like so and it hits against the close tab and do that just about nine more times or exactly nine more times and as you can see it just goes in between these two rails and there's like a brass spring system that retains the bullet What you do is you take that second tab and then you close it. And that way, ten bolts are on a stripper clip. And that's to that extent. And then what happens is this is the spoon, also called a speed loader or a charger. And this goes on top of the magazine. And as you can see, the speed loader goes right, or the uh, stripper clip goes right into the speed lo loader, like so. Alright, so I. I'm going to show you the difference between uh, loading up a magazine in the uh, in the standard way versus loading it up with a strip clip. All right, so time it if you want. This is how long it takes when you load it up the standard way. So yeah, pretty much just imagine you're at the range. You have to do this for pretty much every mag every time. I mean, you can show up at the range with preloaded mags, but let's say you have, let's say you only have two two magazines. You have to do this every single time you run through a magazine. You need to take your time and reload your magazines. And it can be pretty time consuming. And if you're at a range which charges by the hour, 
then you're just pretty much killing time, burning, burning your range time. And let's say you're in your real world combat situation, this could easily get you killed. So. That took a decent amount of time. And keep in mind that that was with all of the bullets organized in the same direction so that they are easier to load. Um, and that still took a good amount of time. All right. Now to compare it with speed loader. And how, you, how I use this, as you can tell, there's two rails right here. And obviously on this other side right here. These uh, hooks right here are kind of just uh, these grooves or whatever. Just kind of hook right onto these... Uh, that section right there and as you can tell it's kind of loose so what I do is I put my thumb right there just to keep it uh, stable put the stripper clip in where I showed you earlier now you just take one thumb as close to the stripper mag as, or stripper clip as possible and what some people say is you can take the stripper clip and put it like on the edge of a table like so and then press down that way the bullets stay while the stripper clip goes down and then the bullets go into the magazine but in any real, real world situation, you might not have a nice clean table edge handy. So I say teach yourself how to do it without the assistance of a table. And how I do that is like so. Ten rounds in the magazine. And what I always do is make sure that last round is in nice and good. So push it all the way into the magazine before you take the spoon off. But uh, we're not quite done yet. There's one. Run the second one. Nice and in there. start to get a little hard towards the end. Take the spoon off. There you go. 30 rounds. Pretty quick, right? Show you with the PMAG. The PMAG has uh, these thinner grooves right here. So it actually uh, goes on tighter and not really any wobble. So you don't really have to be as careful about putting your thumb right there because it is nice and stable. So. Ten. There's twenty. And then there's thirty. Just like that, boom. Ready to go. So yeah, that's the comparison between uh standard loading and loading with the two two three stripper clips. Um Obviously, a lot faster with the stripper clips, but of course you do have to load them beforehand. So just be prepared, buy stripper clips, have them preloaded before you go to the range or before any, uh, before anything. Just have them preloaded for any situation and you should be good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my uh, take on the stripper clip. Alright, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, comments, go ahead and post below. And uh, yeah, I'll try to get to your questions as soon as possible. Oh yeah, by the way, I bought these off eBay and uh, there are more options now I've seen them on Amazon and MidwayUSA.com but uh yeah I've also seen NC Star stripper clips I'd try to stay away from those I've never used them but I've seen a lot of NC Star products and in my opinion pretty much they're all junk NC Star stuff likes to fall apart so that's all airsoft stuff don't touch it um, but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Once again, comments, questions, post below. Thanks for watching.